we're on our way to Legacy Coach in Rockwall, Texas to do a Prevost bus undercarriage inspection. Oh, this is going to be really exciting. I cannot wait to get underneath that coach. really interesting. We're actually going to get the uh, Prevo Marathon bus conversion up on a rack to look underneath it and do an inspection. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I cannot wait to check this out. And we're going to have two experts along with us that are going to show us the ropes of what we're going to be looking for. So it's really going to be an exciting day. All right, guys, we're going to get started right now. Okay, so here is the Prevo, and we are at Legacy Indoor Motor Coach, and we are going to be looking at below the Prevo and checking it all out, and it's got a great chrome paint job, and it's quite shiny. I really love the front of it with all the chrome features is just a beautiful coach and taking you along this side it also has the awnings they're just put away right now large bays for underneath so much storage and it's just a beautiful coach let's look at the back of it and you can see that they have redone the back end of this one as well They don't sell the booth only. They okay. sell the, the whole assembly. So you gotta change. You know, I had a little bit of float the other day, so if you see anything that you think would be causing that, let okay. me know. Okay. okay. Thank you. So usually whenever they lose, you can move it with okay. your hand. Even if it has weight on it, you can move it. But they don't yeah, they're pretty tight. Because the torsion parts, those portions are the ones that they get damaged, and they don't, those don't take no grease either. So okay. whatever grease is in them, that's, that's, that's how it. Is. So how do those look to you? The, well, the boot is damaged, so it, it lets some grease out already right. out of them. So eventually they're gonna get all the all the dirt in there, and they're gonna start making noise. Okay. So I would say put those on. Uh, it's just this arm right here. Nothing to it. Um, 
just because of the okay. Okay. Um, you got your, this is your uh, secondary and your auxiliary tank. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to do them. Yeah, pressure tank. Yeah. yeah, that's it, to drain them regularly. I'm going to open them a little bit, see if we got, see if we got water any water there. on okay. it. That is the auxiliary. So when whenever you have the auxiliary yeah. and then you have an auxiliary pump, like a one ten pump, you yeah. know, keep it keep it up. Sometimes that pump puts oil and oil into the system. Okay. That's where that oil comes from. That's out. where that comes yeah. from. Yeah. You don't see it on the secondary, but you see it on the auxiliary. Okay. Okay. Uh, like I said, bottom arm goes pretty new, don't they? Yes. They yeah. they seem fairly new. Uh, this is the off-grade Connie shots. Okay. So you got new shots in it. The airbags seem to be replaced on both sides. Uh, yeah, they, I thought they look newer. Yeah, Do you they think so. They they look pretty new. They usually see cracks on the bottom. Yeah. Where they they sit all the time. Okay. And they start getting cracks. In it. Same as the, you see the bushing on this side is doing the same thing. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that the bushing is bad. It just you know, with all the up and down, up and down, they just create somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Uh, rotors. The rotors is you're gonna see some cracks like that. Yeah. Right? Some key cracks. Okay. Which is pretty normal on okay. these coaches. Okay. Um, whenever you see a crack from here to here, then yes. All, all the way across, then yes. Then that's that's, 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 that's a replacement. Um, because you see, I don't know if you can see how thick the, the rotor is. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's got good life to it? It has good life on it. Okay. Uh, how far, have, how, what, how much wear do you think it's had on it? The, the only way to know um, is when they start creating an edge right here. Okay. A very thick edge. Like any other regular car, yeah. rotor, okay. they create an edge to okay. it uh, whenever they start wearing out. And the brakes, we're gonna see them whenever we drop them. Okay. You can see it through the rim. Gotcha. How thick they are. Okay. Um, I mean, you tend to see all these hoses, measure the tie for the for the chamber, measure the not rubbing anywhere. Okay. Um, This is the sway bar link, okay. and it's just two bushings uh, pressing together. Okay. Um, but this one seems to be fine. Uh, whenever they go out, they just they just disintegrate, and it's metal with metal. Okay. You know, you you're gonna hear it. Okay. Um, same as the brake chamber chamber. Um, we may need to get some uh, accessories okay. like the boots for it. You wanna keep this away from any any dust, any dirt, because that is the sliding pin. Okay. So if that, if that gets dirt in it, right. then it's going to start stopping. Okay. And then it's going to... So just that boot has to Yeah. It. So that boot is kind of wearing, you think, or just... No, it, so it's fine? It, no, this boot needs to be replaced. It does need to be Yeah, it's already broken. It's not a cap. That's no, an actual break. Yeah, it's actually the broken. whole boot. I see. Yes. Yep, yep. Um, so it's just a hard work for the brakes. It's at the same. You see, that one's fine. Yep. Uh, oh, so, it's, it's so it's just this little piece right here. It's all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from here to there. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Just so just that the, one broke, but this one is intact. Yeah. Gotcha. It, it's just to keep the dirt out. Okay. Same as those bushes. You see, they, they intact. They're not metal to metal on the slab on the bushes. Okay. Uh, this is the boot that we mentioned that needs to be replaced. That's the, the arm. Okay. And it comes with an arm assembly. These tanks, okay. That yes, same tanks. Okay, same tanks. Yes. Right. What is what is what is this here? So this one is your radiator for the generator. For the generator. Okay. Yes. Sir. about Prevos, they make a uh, fuel tank where you can drop it. Right so it's, this whole thing is a bracket and you can drain it too. Nice. So, you know, you get some bad fuel in it, some gasoline, you can drain the whole tank without dropping it. I watched a lady the other day on YouTube and she had 
taking her fresh water fill, stuck it right in her fuel tank. This is, it's not, this is not there. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's not. So we're not getting the drip from up there. No. It's, it's just more or less everything from down here. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, yes. So the, the open itself is a pretty easy job. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Okay. Since everything's right there, you know, you don't have to take yeah. much off. Exactly. Um, easy to get to. Yes. Yep. Uh, of course, you got your coolant filter, all your hoses for the coolant, uh, your oil cooler over there and then those are your oil filters it has oil two, two, has two? Oil filters. Okay. Yes, sir. where's the second one here uh, it's right behind the other one right behind it yeah right. they're, they're two um, right in a row right next to each other oh i see over here yeah got, got it um one of these i think this one is the regenerator that's awesome one is this the generator yeah. this is a quad okay oh, we're we're uh, this is your engine. It's awesome. Very nice, like very little corrosion under here. Yeah. You'll, you'll always see it on raw you know, steel, but exactly. all your big stuff is very clean. In, in, in my coat, the, 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 the Freyhose frame, like, you know, the, the frame steel is all uh, stainless steel, is that yeah. right? A lot, yeah. There is some raw steel, I think, in the ground. On the bottom, yeah. The bottom. On the bottom, but the main on the floor. They have to kind of clean this up yep. yeah. and see is it seepage of a seal? It know. could be the rear, rear seal on the on the where the dry shack goes in, or the these are the filters or the drain. Because all your air is blowing back. Yeah. So you're not sure exactly where it's yeah, from. It's, oh, but you know where it's not in front of either, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's uh, normal to see some kind of drip. As long as you see it here and not on the ground, you know, not enough to, to make a puddle on the ground. Um, okay. But yes, we can for sure clean it up and see exactly where it's coming from. Okay. So that, that's not transmission fluid. This is. That is? Yeah. It's just that color because it's so... Yeah. This is transmission and that, that is oil. You can see it's different for it. It's all black. Yeah. Yeah. 
that just be the old man to get the seal? Yeah, the seal or even the sensor, the speed sensor, sometimes they leak. Right there. Yeah. Those are the sensor. Right there. So, like I said, we, we just gotta clean it up and see exactly where it's yeah. coming from. So, we'll have to change the point. <laughs> so, like for instance, you can't make them totally dry, right? They, they can't be new, but you don't want them. I think you and I talked about this. Yeah. You don't want them blurbling oil on the ground, right? Exactly. So, a little seepage like this. Stuff like dry seepage, little break, like right here on the that's right. normal, stuff like that. Yeah. That's well, here is a brain, so that's a brain, so I guess it's wet a little bit, but not like the whole that transmission, something's leaking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It, it's actually really not dripping in the shop, most of it's staying up there. Yeah, and like I say, it's not oh, yeah, easy I see, dripping. I see the peel you were talking about on the airbag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same about that one. How many bags on, on airbags on so this? So there's four bags on the dry bathroom, which is this. It's four. a M4 here. This is a frame. And then the tag atso is actually the whole thing right there. So that's the tag atso. There's two on the eight, tag atso. Eight total. Yeah. Eight total. Front, front of that. So Zach, I'll give you a few yeah. instances. Like okay. he and I were under a coach. He calls me up here. He says, hey boss. Famous word. I, I got something to show you. Okay. So. They're going to like this. That, that bar up there yes. is holding all this drive line in back wow. here. Okay. And this one, we, we used to call it a pan hard bar. I don't know if it's a pan bar, but yeah. that's what's keeping it from moving left or right and moving out of the. It's holding it all in place. Okay. You know, it can flex up and down. He, he calls me up here. This bar, that bracket, and that bar, yeah. that bracket sheared off. That bar is laying right here. Oh, wow. And then it shifted so far out that the, sh that the well, you can see the clearance here. It, it rubbed, almost rubbed the so tire. So it's right there on the tire. Yeah. It was which is normal. wow. Well, yeah, this, but I mean it was when when, when that was done. On right. It. Yeah. right, right. Uh, PC like right here, it's just got barely enough. It's just not know. a lot of clearance. And they anyway. And that's so yeah. we have no idea how it happened. That's catastrophic. That's yeah. like the whole wheel housing comes out going down the road. You run off. Oh really? Leave it. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. We don't know if it got hit, drug out of a ditch. Could have been a fastener not torqued in 20 years before, right? And the second one failed. Yeah. But he put it all back together, aligned it, shimmed it. So which which airbags is you're replacing? Uh, Those uh, back ones for sure. Because they peeled out. Here, here and here. Okay. They have a little little cracks in them, which you don't know. Feeling like that. Tail. Yes. Yeah, you sure. can see the metal on that one. How long Actually. do those normally last? Like ten uh, years. Ten years. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That's what it was like two okay. relatively ten years. new ones are yeah. on the front. Yeah. The, the front ones were real fresh. They they really did. I thought so too. This makes all the difference to get it up on the yeah. crack like this it's and look at things. Absolutely amazing. It's a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. You see the difference in your I mean, how big and heavy these components are. Yeah. They're, they're, it's just it's a monster. It is. I just can't imagine having to replace that bar in that bracket. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He, was, he had to tap them and get was, those sheer bolts out. It's a great eight. Yeah. Can you imagine the torque? What that fastener is doing? Two bolts. I think what it is carrying out of the load, the torque, the weight, yeah. you know, pulling and pushing on. Yep, it's huge. Huge, yeah. So, uh, as far as, okay, so we saw the... Water. Just an active bolt on it, yeah. or is there something actually in No, there's that. Uh, just just active on it. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you want to... I don't know what could be done. Like I said, it's probably, it probably had something, like uh, I've seen uh, sometimes they, they tie into the fresh water and they put a pressure washer out here. Yep. And uh, they use like a hose and everything and they run the hose through there. Okay. Yeah, so that is the banner. That, that is the one that monitors your battery, voltage, the 24 and the 12 volt side. This is the one that tells the front. If it's something wrong with it, okay. it will turn on the light gotcha. on the dash. Yeah. You intake uh, always uh, spread this one to make sure they don't have no cracks. Uh, the clamps are still there. How it doesn't look okay to you? Yeah. They look fine. You'll yeah, see it. Yeah, the cracks. <laughs> okay. Here, three belts. Here, 
down on the here, down and then here. So five yes. five belts? Yes. Okay. And I was and in fact one of these belts had a one of the things that they What do you think about the, the age and the wear on the belts and all? As, as you can see, we want to go traveling when we get this thing, and we want it to be right. Right. I, it does have some cracks in it. I mean, not big, but I will get a, a set of it. Maybe we could put the new one. I give this one as a set. Okay. That surface didn't look fine. Trying to get somewhere, uh, or just trying to stop off the engine. 
you can just be sold from right here, you just open that box, and it goes directly into the open. And that will get you somewhere or break the whole level to level. If it's missing something, yeah, just open it right there, a little bit, close it back up. Yeah. Just check it. Yeah. 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 Because it's 